Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I've got this today. As you can see here, it's Ateroid. It's an Atari ST emulator for Android. And I'm going to be showing you how to set it up. I'm using my, ta my, sa my, sorry. I'm using my tablet. It's a Samsung Tab S5V. I'm also going to be using this controller. Which is the 8 bit do SN30 Plus. Really good controller, I recommend it. Right, let's dive in and have a look at this emulator. Right, so let's first of all, we need our ROMs before we do anything because without the games, this is pointless. So we should close these off. So I've got them on the SD card, as you can see here, Atari ST. There's my ROMs. They're easy to find, just Google it. I can't say where you can get them from, but all you have to do is full ROM set. So it's easy. So once you put them in, you can have a, put them on your storage or your SD card, but I've got them on my SD card. Now let's go back to the emulator. So the first thing we need to do is click these dots here, which will bring this menu up at the bottom. We need to go to settings. Now the first thing we need to do is system. Make sure use built in MU TOS TOS is clicked. Right, apart from that, everything's fine here. If you do want to have a bit of a experiment with this emulator, you can, but on here everything's fine. So let's go back top of the system and we need to go to import. And like I said, I'm using a controller so. This use input method device that needs to be ticked. If you're using on screen controller, you'll need to tick this arcade style virtual joystick. Right next, now this emulator it has on the screen it has the UI. I prefer it where it auto adds it, so all you have to do is touch screen, it comes up, so it's not there all the time. So click on this. I'll show you when we start the emulator, but that, for me, that is better to be ticked, auto add on screen UI. And also, like I said, I'm using a controller, so add joystick. If you're using on screen controller, untick that. Everything else is fine there. So next we need to go, is configure the control. Now this is easy. Click on that. All you have to do is press map at the top, and then the button you want. And that's easy. And then just carry on with your left, right, and then there's an extra button what you can add, like your left mouse, your right mouse, your back buttons. Like I say, that's up to you what you want to do because with the UI, you can use the mouse on the screen. So, once we've done that, click back out. So, no, we're really to be honest, we're good to go. So, once again. Here at the top, you don't have to mow with a sign or anything else. Everything else is fine. So top arrow, click the screen there. The auto UI, this is what it'll look like all the time. So click the three dots again, disk, insert floppy here. So we need to pick again. So we'll go, on. We'll go with Rainbow Islands. You can't beat a bit of Rainbow Islands. See, so touch the screen, top there is for your keyboard, as you can see in the top corner. Then you don't need to press that one. That is your mouse, so you click on that, that brings your mouse up. It's space to carry on. So now as you can see, we are in mouse mode. Go back to... Go back to... Joystick. Press the screen, keyboard, press your space. Touch your screen again. Press one and it's F1 to start.
I'm certainly not used to this playing. I'm used to using two buttons with Rainbow Islands. With this, it's up to jump, so I can't get rid of it. But. Now, let's. So, we want to change our game, so all you have to do is touch the screen, the arrows, disc again. Let's have a look. Now, I'm going to go to Move Talk because I just want to show you something. Sometimes the games automatically load with this one. The screen will come up like it used to. Let me shrink that. Right. So. Right. So we need to be in mouse mode. Click, open disk gear. Click on that. If you, if you come across any other games, this is what you need, always need to look for, the PRG file. Sometimes you will have games, it'll have about four or five files, but that's your game. Forgot to change. I was in most mode then. Right, so let's jump back again, click on the screen, three dots. Like say uh, this and like it's it's quite easy this emulator. If you do struggle with anything, just put it in the comments and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy a bit of Atari ST. Like I say, this is also free on the Play Store. So all you need to do really is just get your ROMs, which will be free, just a bit of Google search. And away you are with the Atari ST, bringing back memories. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.